And uh, I must say that uh, I was eating my breakfast this morning, flicking through my Twitter account, only to find out that I'd been uh, copping smears from the other side, uh, where I was accused of basically weaponising uh, queer people for political purposes. And nothing could be further from the truth uh, uh, at all. Um, and I should say that it was actually left-wing activists who think that biological men should compete in women's sport and use women's change rooms that we weaponised transgender women for political purposes. And I'm pleased to say that the World Athletics Council agrees with me, uh, and I'm pleased to say that women have rights to a safe space as well. Now, you know, subsequently, uh, you know, it needs to be said that I think we are entitled to use some logic in this debate. And can someone please explain to me how a high level of testosterone, hormones, bone density doesn't give biological men an advantage in competitive sport? Now, these are genuine questions that we're allowed to raise. We're allowed to protect women uh, from injury uh, or intimidation in change rooms without being uh, smeared as Nazis and associated with Nazis. And I noticed Senator Watt said that before as well. Moira Deeming didn't go to that event on Saturday because she was associating herself with Nazis. She went there to stand up for women's rights. And yet we've got a Victorian Premier, a man, who stands there and bullies a woman for standing up so that women can speak. And if you want to start pointing the finger at anyone, the question should be asked to the Victorian Premier why it is that Nazis are in Victoria more than any other state? What is the Labor Party doing about the, the Nazis in Victoria? So about time you guys take a good look at yourself in the mirror before smearing people on this side with unfounded allegations. Shame on you. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.